Hey guys, Aaron here with another video, another tool of the week. So uh, when I was putting the header back on this car, I had to hold it in place while trying to get the bolts in by myself. So I decided it was time for a new tool. The next time I will have to do something like this, I'm going to have an under hoist support stand, or I don't know, some people probably also call them screw jacks. Picked this guy up on Amazon, so I figured we'd do a uh, quick unboxing and assemble it. This one was on Amazon. It had really good reviews, and it was only 79 bucks. so let's see. All right, start with the round base. All right, this piece here is the post support, and the very last step they list is to attach it like this to the pole, but it came pre-assembled that way. So I guess all I have to do is take this three-piece bearing assembly and put it on the bottom of that screw and then stick it in here so that the bearing rests on top of the post. Stick this down here. Try not to get my hand all greasy. Slide this into the pole. And thread the pole into the base. So after you realize what you're supposed to do, it's about a two minute assembly because most of it is already assembled. So now, so if you have weight on top, you just turn the handle now and it's gonna ride on that bearing and it's gonna raise and lower. If you don't have any weight, it's just gonna spin like this. So you either have to hold it with one hand while you're turning it. Uh, it doesn't have like a quick release or anything like that. So I guess some of the more expensive ones probably have something like that. So the bearing's pretty good. When you put one hand on the top, you can spin this handle, raise. And uh, of course, once it comes in contact, gets close, you let go. And the weight of that will hold this in place to help you raise and lower it. That's all there is to this little tool. I didn't weigh it, but it's really not that heavy. It's pretty easy to uh, move into position, or if you wanted to, you can actually just tilt it a little bit and roll it around on the round base. So I just measured, this is it at the minimum height. It is 54 inches. And here is the max height. It is 82 inches, so just shy of seven feet. And uh, I was curious myself, yes, it does stop it from spinning and it won't uh, come all the way out. Also, because I was curious, I uh, timed myself spinning this thing. It took me about 40 seconds to go from all the way raised to all the way lowered. So if you guys have a two post lift, highly recommend this tool. Of course, it's not gonna be much use without a two post lift. Uh, I don't know, maybe you have some other application for it. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the tool in the comments section. And uh, again, there's a link to it on Amazon. Go check it out if you're interested. I'll talk to you guys on the next video.